So let me take you through the project settings for the cable installer. We're going to start with the projects and reports button and this is where we'll type the customer, the site name, and this is where you'll save your project. So if you have to come back to the project and recall it um, and recall your settings, this is where you'll do that. We'll also want to set our cable type. So you can see that there's some templates already set. For example, the one highlighted CAT5E, shielded twisted pair. Um, that's the name of this cable test. And the settings you'll see over here on the right. So here's the name. Um, you can see that we're going to, um, this template is set to one gig. It's a shielded cable and we're going to ignore the crossover cable for this test. Uh, so that, so when we set the current type, then that one is, um, is what we'll be testing to. So if we come over here to the cable label, you can say that, see that our current type is CAT5E um, that we just selected, and then you'll see all the different parameters. So this is a really powerful tool for, for setting up multiple cables if you're doing a larger project. Um, everything that you see green will be included in the name of the cable over here when we, when we create the cables. Um, so I've set it up for a mall, this is uh, the East Building, and you can see all the parameters, and I'm starting with ID 1, and I'm going to have it create five cables so that you can see those get added. And I can change the number of ca cables that we add, and then everything in the green will be part of the cable name. So you can see that I just created those cable names for the cable type that we selected, and so this will be my project, these five cables. So when I come over here to the cable test, you're, you'll see all five cables that are selected. Now if I want to add um, five more cables, and let's say I want to have a different cable type, and maybe I'm, I'm doing CAT6A, so you can see that um, the green is what was selected, so now I'm going to set that to my current type. Um, now you can see that this is, the, the gr is turned to green, and that's what's selected. We're going to go back to cable labeling. We're going to start with cable ID 6, and we're going to add five more labels. All right. So we'll go to the cable test, and then you'll see all 10 cables are ready to be tested. So we'll go up to cable number one, and let me get the remote part of the NetExpert XG, and we'll run the first test. So we're going to run our first cable test. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run the, the CAT 6A cable test first, um, because that's the cable that I have right now. So I'm going to plug the cable into the local unit and to my remote unit, and I'm gonna hit test. So now it's running through the test. It's doing a wire map test, length of cable test. It's going to look for miswires, shorts, opens. Um, it's doing a BERT test, so it's actually sending a gigabit of bits through the cable per second and counting those and looking for errors at the remote end of the cable. Uh, so it's actually doing a real throughput test. It's also doing a signal to noise ratio test and delay skew. All right, and it passed the test. So it runs all the tests and then gives you a summary whether it passes or fails. So now you can see the results here. You can see the wire map. You can see the length of the cable. It tells you the status. It gives you the parameters for skew and signal to noise ratio. Um, and also tells us that we had zero uh, bit error rate test errors. So when you're ready to test the next cable, just select the next test in the list and you hit test. So it's pretty simple just to go down through your cable lists and, um, and, and complete your project.